Today's Sports Line. Hey there, Sports Line on your television. Steve Lebedeer here with you. Glad you are here with us on this Wednesday night on News Channel 5 Plus. We're going to introduce you to the new women's basketball coach at Vanderbilt coming up on the show tonight. Shea Ralph, former UConn assistant, introduced as the team's new head coach last week. I think this is a score of a hire by Candace Lee, the Vanderbilt athletic director. Ralph is someone who had success as a player. She battled through, I believe it was five knee surgeries during her time at UConn, helped the Huskies win a national championship in 2000. Gets into the pros for a little bit, comes back, works her way back to the UConn staff, and spent the last 13 years there under Gina Oriema, helping the Huskies win six more national titles. So in all, she's a part of seven national championships at UConn. She's just a winner. There's no question about it. And she's somebody who a lot of people around the basketball world, I think, expected to do big things. And the idea that she thought the Vanderbilt job was a good job to take. I think it's really intriguing. And it was fun to listen to her talk. So let's begin now with the introduction of new Vanderbilt women's basketball coach, Shea Ralph. She comes from Connecticut, when of course University of Connecticut is the gold standard in women's basketball. Shea took part in seven of UConn's 11 national championships as both a student athlete and a coach. And on a personal note, uh, when we talked last week, I, I remembered watching her play during, during her um, national championship run as a player, which was, which was great to kind of talk about that. And in addition, in addition to uh, her performance and the focus of performance on the court, uh, Coach Shea Ralph has been instrumental in also supporting academic success of her players off the field as well. We don't take shortcuts here at Vanderbilt. Coach Ralph put in nearly two decades learning her craft as an assistant coach and supporting her players under the guidance and mentorship of one of the sport's all-time greats. This hiring decision that we're announcing today is consistent with the approach that we've been taking at Vanderbilt over the last year. The spirit of our overall campaign, which we call Van United, is about giving student athletes the resources that they need, uh, whether that is in forms of facility, but also in terms of the leadership and the coaching that will enable them to be successful. Shea is part of a new generation of Vanderbilt coaches for a new era of Commodore Athletics. As we did with Van United, we worked closely with Candace, and she took decisive action and moved forward in making sure that Coach Ralph will join us here at Vanderbilt. A new coach, new basketball operations facility, infuses the whole program and college athletics with a new level of energy and commitment. Coach Ralph shares our ambition and our vision fueling Vandy United. We're delighted and happy to have her join the Commodore family. And now I'd be pleased to hand it over to Candace Lee. Thank you, Chancellor Deermeyer. As the athletic director, I'm equally passionate and invested in all of our programs. That's what our student athletes deserve, and that's what the job demands. Any coaching transition, regardless of the sport, requires the same level of care. But there's no doubt that as a former women's basketball student athlete, I understand the opportunities and the potential for this program in a very personal way and I share a very special connection with all the former players who feel the same way that I do, that this is a program that can win championships. When I met with our student athletes last Tuesday evening, I asked them to give me a couple weeks to complete the search. I knew it could be a little shorter or maybe a little longer than that, and that the focus was not going to be on the speed of the search, but on finding the best person to lead us to this next chapter. I asked them to trust me. I reminded them that I'm a product of this same program. So it was both professional and personal for me and that I felt responsible both to and for them. While as in the case of our football search, I didn't necessarily have the time constraints of a signing period. I knew that our current and our incoming student athletes were eager to know who their new coach would be. 
and I also felt it was necessary to move quickly enough to give the coach an opportunity to meet with them before the semester ended and final exams began. We received interest from some amazing candidates and we interviewed an impressive and diverse group, including sitting head coaches. If you're wondering how the Vanderbilt program is perceived, the level of interest confirmed that this is a great job. People across the women's basketball world, they see it the way I see it, that this is a program with unlimited potential. Most importantly, Shay sees the job as I see it. From the moment we first spoke, I appreciated how genuine she is, her drive, her intellect, her commitment to developing young people and her sheer joy and gratitude for what she gets to do every day. I also learned rather quickly about her desire to be a head coach and to do so at a place where elite academics and athletics combine to form an incredible opportunity to succeed. Not just a place like Vanderbilt, but Vanderbilt. During a search, you end up talking to <laughs> many, many people and we wanted to do our due diligence. And we feel fortunate to have engaged several individuals as we made this very important decision. When I talked to Gino Oriema, the thing that stood out most was he told me that Shay is absolutely relentless in everything she does. And every person I talked to, including Shay, made it clear that she does not like to lose. <laughs> we must be relentless in all that we do, not just in women's basketball, but in all that we do at Vanderbilt. I was drawn to Shay's energy, her passion, the adversity she overcame as a student athlete, and the perspective that she brings from one of the truly elite programs, not only in just women's basketball, but in all of sports. And everyone that I asked to meet with her during our search walked away equally impressed. This is her first head coaching job, but few people have more experience competing for championships. She has excelled in every facet of the profession, both in terms of her incredible recruiting success and her mentorship of a procession of all Americans. Her ability to develop student athletes into the best players and people that they can be is unquestioned and the examples are numerous. She knows what winning looks like. She's not afraid of seizing this opportunity. She and we see what this program is today and what it can and what it will be. You can't dispute Shay's pedigree coming from UConn, but she's not sitting here today just because of pedigree. She earned this opportunity with her drive to win, her passion for student athletes, and her vision for the program. Searches always require a lot of hands on deck. So to each of you who played a role, I thank you for your efforts and for your commitment. In particular, thank you to Chancellor Deermeyer for once again providing the support to do what was necessary in the way that I felt was necessary to begin a new chapter. To my fellow alumni, we heard you. You all shared a desire for such criteria as a great basketball mind and someone who was demanding but respectful, someone who embraces alumni and the Nashville community. To Commodore Nation, We've talked a lot about Vandy United recently. To me, Vandy United is about all of us coming together to move this entire athletics program forward. Students, alumni, faculty, staff, supporters, all of us who care so deeply for this amazing university. And that's why at the end of the day, I felt the responsibility to all of you to choose the very best leader for this program. And I found her in Shay Ralph. Shay, we could not be more excited that you're here. We know there's much work to be done. But we also know that we'll look back on this day as the start of the restoration and transformation of Vanderbilt women's basketball. It's now my pleasure to introduce our new head women's basketball coach, Shay Ralph. Thank you so much, Candace and Chancellor Deermeyer. And good afternoon, everyone. I am so happy to be here today with you all. 
I'm incredibly humbled and proud not only to be your women's basketball head coach, but also to be your partner in building something great together here at Vanderbilt University. I'm blessed to be joined here today by my amazing family. My husband, Tommy, and my two-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Mason, who has quickly become the most popular person on campus. They are my North Star, and I want to thank them for believing in me always, for loving me unconditionally, and for giving me a strength and purpose that will always push me to be the best possible version of myself in every arena of life. I love you both, and I can't wait to start our new chapter here in Nashville. My mother and my stepfather are also here today. My mother was an amazing basketball player in her own right at the University of North Carolina where she was an All-American, recently earning her PhD and is now a college professor. And uh, maybe the best part of her resume is that she's probably the world's greatest grandmother. I'm so happy that both of you guys are here with me today and I can't thank you enough for the sacrifices you made for me that allowed me to sit in this chair. I'd also like to thank my former team coaching staff and administration at the University of Connecticut. I've spent almost half of my life at UConn as a player and a coach, and I will always bleed blue. However, I could not be more excited to join Commodore Nation and help bring our women's basketball program to national prominence. The last week has been one of the best weeks of my life. Thank you to Christine Kelly, Michelle Towns, and the rest of the Vanderbilt community for welcoming my family and I with open arms. To so Candace Lee, you are a trailblazer in college athletics, and I am honored to work beside you in building this historic program back to where we all know and believe it can be. I am also grateful for your belief in me and inspired by your tireless efforts to grow Vanderbilt women's basketball and our athletic community as a whole into something special. And last but not least, I am ecstatic that my young daughter will be able to have a walking, breathing example of greatness that looks like her to show her that one day she too can be a trailblazer. I have four core values that guide me in my life each and every day. Those are family, growth, integrity, and leadership. These values are at the core of who I am as a woman, a wife, and a mother, and will be the core of my coaching philosophy here at Vanderbilt. I believe sustainable excellence starts and ends with people. In order to achieve something great, you have to have the right people around you all pulling in the same direction. I will look for key qualities that I know I can't coach. For example, confidence, competitiveness, coachability, a tireless work ethic, being a great teammate, just to name a few. This will ensure that during this growth process, through all the ups and downs that will come, no matter what, we will all have each other's backs and we'll always be able to fall back on our values. I look forward to surrounding my team with people who have the knowledge and experience to help them achieve what they all told me just yesterday they want a program that wins big on and off the court. I have spent my entire life preparing for this moment, <laughs> growing up in North Carolina and developing into a woman at Connecticut has fully prepared me to now spread my wings at Vanderbilt. I can't wait to work alongside Commodore Nation and this incredible community to build something truly special and lasting with our women's basketball program. Thank you to all who have paved the way in this historic program. And thank you to my new team, who I already adore, for your trust and belief in me. This is going to be an awesome journey, and I could not be more excited to be doing it with you. To everyone listening and watching, this is the first day of a new era of our women's basketball program here at Vanderbilt University. Come join us and be part of a greatness that will transcend the game of basketball. Anchor down. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. We'll now open it up to questions. Uh, if you do have a question, please use the raise hand function. We'll start it off with Adam. Yeah, hey, Shay. Uh, welcome to Nashville. Um, 
you know, over the years, obviously, I'm sure you've been asked a number of times, when are you going to be a head coach and take over your own program? What did you see in Vanderbilt and the potential at Vanderbilt that maybe you didn't see in other opportunities? Yes, I've been asked a few times <laughs> that question. Um, and to be honest with you all, the University of Connecticut is a very hard place to leave. I'm completely invested. I played there, obviously. We all just talked about that. And I've been there for a long time as a coach. And I am continue to be challenged there in every way. Um, what's intriguing about Vanderbilt and, and from the outside looking in, you look at this university, all it has going for it, the athletic programs, the excellence that they display in everything they do. And you wonder, why isn't the women's basketball program and the elite conversations in our country? And I think that we can be, and I think that we should be, and I'm excited to do that here. Thanks. Joe Rexford. Yeah, following up on that, Shay, obviously one thing maybe in, in recent years with Vanderbilt Athletics um, that maybe has held it back some is facilities. Obviously there are new facilities planned, including a basketball building. How much of that was part of the discussion? How much of, of a game changer do you think that can be for this program in the years to come? I mean, obviously it's a game changer, um, but I think more than that is that it shows an investment by our chancellor, by the community, by everyone who's putting forward that effort to make this happen. And, you know, when you talk to people, when is, every person that I spoke to, they, they want and desire excellence for our student athletes, both in the classroom, which is evident by the historic university and all that comes with that, um, but also on the field or the court or wherever you compete. And so when I spoke to, to everyone and I learned about how invested they were in the growth in, of every individual in every arena, it, it was more than just the $300 million Van United um, fund that's happening and all the things that, that that's going to create for the student athletes, all the wonderful opportunities that that will help us coaches recruit to. Um, it, it was just the investment to me that stuck out, the investment of everyone at this university and our student athletes as a whole.